Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, so what do you guys think of this thing so far? It's actually quite confusing. I've been trying to figure out the wiring on this thing. I got a little, a couple of little headaches trying to figure this out. Uh, I want to try to get some steering in. Uh, and from what I can tell, what I have to do is I have to disable, uh, somehow find a way to disable these two here. And these two here, and that should technically reduce the power by 75%, so it's going to have 75% less motion, which means this side's going to go faster and gradually turn it, sort of like you would with uh, tank treads, for instance. Um, the biggest problem with trying to do something like this is the fact that stuff is going to end up crossing. Like, I have to be careful that switchboards don't cross. Like I can't just have one switchboard to connect it to all 18 or 8 sets, I'll call it. Because as soon as it gets powered, they'll all get powered at the same time, and I don't want that. So it would have to be like hitting two or three or four switchboards. Uh, I've been trying to think of a way to utilize the distributor. Uh, the way I'm going to actually have it set up is we're going to have the, the the main power core in the center here that sets the power up. It's just going to be one connection point that goes around. Uh, when it comes on this side, it powers this side. When it goes to this side, it powers that side. Uh, being just a, a single cycle like that, it should give more time for the legs to actually move. Uh, we'll see how how it all goes. Uh, it is going to be a little bit confusing, uh, but the batteries are going to be on their own power grid. I'm going to get some switchboards set up here. There's going to be a switchboard here for each set of battery banks, and they're all going to be wired in together, which is going to be connected to the main connection point there. Actually, it's going to go upstairs to where we're going to control it, then back down to here where it connects to the legs. And then for the hover pads themselves, I still have yet to configure all these. Uh, it takes about a minute to load up the terminal right now. It's down there. Uh, but yeah, so it's going to be the outer ones are going to be on their own switchboard. The inner ones on the on switchboard, and I believe that the inner ones were tied in with the top and the outer were tied in with the bottom. So there's going to be three switchboards on each leg, one for the batteries, one for the forward and up, and one for the down and back. Uh, I have che checked all the, the parts. Everything is free. I did have to fix this one right here. Uh, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Uh, this block right here had somehow diagonally snapped the hover pad. But other than that, everything is free and fully moving. So now it's just a matter of getting some neon lights everywhere and go from there. So I'm going to start by wiring up the batteries and getting all these things sort of on their own switchboard. And uh, for the time being, I'm going to hold off uh, trying to separate those until we can actually see if it walks. And if it does actually walk and move, then I'll try to figure something out with the, the turning. But let me get all this set up and I'll be right back. And that took longer than expected. Uh, I did do the check on the weight on this thing. We're about 90 tons right now, which seems like a lot, but with the amount of hover pads I've got here, uh, it seems pretty, pretty good. Uh, yeah, so everything is all set up. Uh, what I, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do here, I got a little confused, and it just occurred to me. Well, the top switchboard is going to be the upper hover pads, and the ones in the middle, which is going to be the up and forward. The bottom, the bottom one is going to be for the down and back. And then I just have them all color coded. So the green is going to be activated at one time. Or sorry, the green. Yes, I know I'm not colorblind. And the red at the same time. So that's going to have green at one end, red at the other end, distributor in the middle going through. So what we need to do is going to do a quick uh, power check. Make sure everything is running. I just want to make sure I got all the hover pads connected. I have saved too, so if it does happen to move out of place, it's not that big of a deal. Aha, I did miss one. So, yeah, uh, I was like I said, it was getting a little confusing in here. So I got to go fix a couple of mistakes here, and I'll be... Oh, look at that, I completely missed one side. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, yeah, let me fix this all up. Okay, so I have everything all checked and tested and working so everything does have power uh, I didn't realize I don't have any of the hover modes set yet so I didn't have to worry about them moving but uh, they will actually move if I unlock them they tend to rotate under their own, on their own accord but now what I need to do is I need to find a center point here 
and uh, I've got this 80 blocks long so technically the center point should be somewhere around here uh, that cockpit is just for relative purposes so I know which way it's going to be forward uh, we're not going to be using that it's going to be going to be one of those things you can turn it on and watch it watch it walk away until it hits the animated block range but what I've been thinking about how I'm going to do this I think what I might do is uh, not go with green and that was for the switch boards uh, I'm going to go like this count across and I'm going to find a center point in the middle and that's where the, the rotator is going to be so give me a moment okay scrap the project I built it's on the evens so we're, we're no good that's it game over that's it for this build I'm just kidding no we'll work with it we'll work with it uh, rotator so this is basically one of these two blocks is going to be the middle I'll just I'll just balance a little bit it's no big deal so we'll go with uh Go with this one, I guess. Uh, I will want to have some traction on this, so I gotta fill in the floor a little bit. And for that, so they got the armor blocks here. I want to try to keep this light, so I'm gonna go with the slopes. Uh, those slopes there, and then I'm gonna do what I was try attempting to do with uh, the nomad. I actually I did this with the uh, that doesn't go down there with the. Uh, turret for the so-called canonized bowling I was attempting and that's just use a tire on a suspension going sideways to create drag uh, I probably only need one hover pad to turn it I don't want it going too fast like I said I want it to have time to actually rotate or uh, the legs to actually move because I know they're not going to be super speedy like some of those <laughs> like a wolf spider in real life scare those things and they're gone in a flash but uh, let me get this set up, uh, get the, the main core set, and I'll bring you back. So here's what I'm thinking of doing. So it's just going to be one hover pad, and then I'm going to have a motor uh, wheel going sideways for drag. Uh, what concerns me is there's going to be movement with these, so I have to make sure that this doesn't hit. Uh, at the same time, too, i got to make sure this, this wheel isn't going to touch anything here or go off the platform. And it should be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down. I might bring it down one more block if this doesn't work. Uh, the reason being is I don't want it going like this. I want to try to get it going like a one and a half second interval if I can. So let's go ahead and throw a couple of batteries down because we're going to need two of them for this thing. And uh, need a switchboard. If I find the right button, there you go. Go ahead and connect those to that. Uh, get that out of there, turn hover mode on, turn that off. And it's not moving. Okay. Yeah, uh, a little slow there. Got stuck. Uh, let's put the wheel back on and see what happens. Okay. And power on unlock this sort of what I want so I might have to put two upper pads on here then so let's try it with two can I get it on here probably not uh, no it won't let me just because the rotators already moved so let me float this back up and I'll, I'll try it again. Okay, let's try this again. So unlock that. Uh, I'll leave it on soft suspension for now. Connect everything up. And see what happens. Nothing apparently. It's that dead zone it starts in. Let's give it a little bit of a nudge. There we go. Kind of what I was hoping for. It sort of works. As long as... Because the disconnection point is going to be right in the center. So as long as it spends equal time on both sides, it'll be okay. We could probably... Yeah, adjusting the suspension doesn't do much. But it does work. I'll turn that off so we're on soft. Yeah, and basically I have a switchboard here, 
uh, connects from to the front, to the back, to the front, to the back, so on and so forth. I got a little freaky there. But anyways, so yeah, let me uh, let's actually load back up the save and we'll try this. We'll, we'll get the timing set up. We'll actually see if we can get these things moving. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. So to get this set up, I'm going to put a couple blocks here and here. And put three switchboards on. Uh, yes, three switchboards. Uh, let's go with eight. And this is going to get me my timing because what I want it to do is I want it to connect to these two, but not to this one. And that's on this side. And on that side, I want the same thing. I want it to connect to these two, but not this one. And as long as I have the main switchboard in line with this, this rotating plate, then I shouldn't have to worry about the other side. So with that, we're going to go down here. Uh, see where was I? I was actually on this side. Get the hover back on. And so it's going to be there, I do believe. You know, it would be nice if there was an actual, like, visible grid overlay in part of the build vision so you could actually see, like, the, the grid of the structures. Mind you, something like this would be very confusing. But I know this isn't going to be enough, so I'm going to put a couple more blocks out and a few more switchboards and go from there. So we're not going to open the data pad. I'm going to get rid of that. And I think this one might actually be it. So we go down here, take that because it disconnects at 40 blocks. I know I'm at 80 blocks on this whole structure because I counted. So let's see, I'll connect there, I'll connect, I won't connect there. Okay, that's not what I want because if I, if it disconnects before it reconnects on the other side, the spider is going to drop. It's going to sort of bounce as it walks. I realistically like to have the second stage going just as the first stage ends so then that way it can try to keep its motion. But let's try this one right here. That is the right one, is it not? Yeah. And then we'll go down here and see what we can do. I know it'll connect there, it'll connect there, disconnects there. Okay, so that is going to be it. So on this side, it's going to be right on the frame. That's going to make it handy. And then I do the same thing on the other side. It doesn't matter which is going to be the red and which is going to be the green because as long as they're separated, it's all that matters. So then if I go over here try to figure out where I had my platform because I had it built spaced, spaced evenly. Okay, so the switchboard's going to have to be on this side then. Which does pose a bit of an issue, but at the same time too, it could be quite some, something quite interesting to try to do. Uh, I'm going to do the save here because I know it's anchored there and I'm pretty sure this frame is complete. I'm going to try to take one block out or even two and replace them with the armor blocks. So let's try this. Okay. Yes, I've learned to auto save, uh, save many, 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 many times from taking out the wrong blocks. Many, 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 many times. So it should be that one and that one. And it didn't drop. Everything's still there. Good. So now, it's on this side. Let's go on the other side. It'll be a little easier to place it. I know I didn't have to do two of them, but I did because. Because. Okay, now it should be this one. Come on. There you go. Ah, it's like Christmas. Yay. Then once the build vision actually starts moving around, that's going to be creepy. Okay, so connect, connect, doesn't connect. Perfect. So, yeah, exactly what I thought it would be. So now, now is the mechanical testing stage. Get rid of that switchboard. Um, no, this is the front, so I'm going to do this side green. I'm actually going to color these switchboards for the sake of it. That one's going to be green. Go all the way down here. And that one is going to be red. Okay. Now we go over here, and I gotta take these switchboard, the extra switchboards off here so I don't get confused. 
Now, to first set this, I will have to... Actually, no, we'll it, this should work out perfect. Alright, so now we get the build vision back up. Red to red, green to green. So you should go there. And there. And I'm going to get the rest of them set up. And then I'll get uh, the main power grid connected and hooked up to here. And we'll give it a test run. Believe it or not, it took me about 10 minutes to set hover mode on all these hover pads and go through the list three times to make sure I got every single one of them. Uh, it took about a minute for the terminal to load up too. But I have everything set. As you can see from the outside, I have like little makeshift legs so we can see what happens. Uh, what I do need to do is, for the time being, I'm actually going to put some batteries on top here to power these hover pads. Uh, they have been set to hover mode at the same time. Uh, yes, I am using white. I don't know why, but I am. Alright, uh, that's going to connect to there. But first, let's uh, do that. That's already connected there. And that's already connected. Come on. There you go. I don't know if you can hear the buzzing. It's like I'm saying inside a power transformer. Okay, we're going to turn that off for now. What else? Was, I was going to do something here. Uh, oh, yes. Before we begin, where is that laggy terminal? I think this was the front end of it. Yes, it is. Let's uh, go in here, and you can experience the lag with me while I unlock all the rotating plates. Yes, this is the actual lag it takes to load this thing. Almost reminds me of the days of my old storage system where I had 200 or 20 containers or 50 containers or whatever. But anyway, uh, let's go here. It's going to take a second to refresh. I think I have 34 or something like that of these things. It takes a while. There we go. And we just unlock all of these. The legs should all drop. Oh, they're just makeshift legs for now. I just have them there just to see if movement's actually working in case I have to adjust anything because I don't want to go and spend an hour and a half building eight legs to find out it doesn't work. Okay, we'll leave the suspension. They should almost color code this in the terminal anyways. I'd be on and off, have red and green. Go through here quickly, and it is done. All right, so let's actually get out of here so we can get a better look. There we go. We have our oars. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, hook this up. That's uh, actually already hooked up. Yes, it is. So we just gotta go and turn this on. One, two, three, four, five. Turn. Turn you on. I'm just going to give you a little nudge now. Okay, let's see what happens here. So you can sort of see what I'm trying to do. This one here and that one here. Go forward. Uh, same with these four here. Uh, things are a little out. That conveyor is clipping in some areas. This is just a, a timing thing. It seems to be okay right now. Oh, something just broke. Let's see if we can tighten up that suspension. I blew a tire, man. Uh, right. Where's that terminal? Uh oh. That works. I'll just shut it off. So yeah, suspension can definitely tighten up a little bit. Uh, probably even go down to one hover pad. That's what I was worried about. But uh, it definitely does work. So that that's good. Uh, the clipping issue is up here. You can actually see it's getting stuck in here. And it's just temporary. It gets stuck in there and it get, gets caught on that hover pad there. And that is the issue. 
but it works. So now, uh oh, new Unity's got an issue. Uh, I'll be not too much caffeine, if you ask me. It actually looks like the block is vibrating out. Uh, let's go turn the power off. Maybe that'll cause it to settle down. Nope. Oh, it's definitely a first for the, the new build. But it's a good thing I had this saved. So let me load this up and let's uh, start getting some legs built. Just like that, I've gone back in time. So we're back to the point where I left all the rotating plates locked. Uh, the hover pads have been set to hover mode already. So now we are going to start by starting our first leg. I'm going to build the legs first and I'm going to adjust the position. Uh, just because I don't want the legs hitting each other. Uh, this, The front legs and the back legs are going to be limited to their inward moment motion exactly where it is. And it's going to have more forward movement where the two in the middle are going to be sort of centralized so in that way the front legs and the back and the second legs have room so they don't hit each other all right so let's go ahead and get our tool out and get those blocks brown just in case any of those ocd eaters out there uh, i will stick with the conveyor pipe coming out through here just because i know it's going to have less chance of it binding to anything and i am going to take the chance of putting a block here I was worried that hover pad was going to touch it, but it should be okay. And as long as the conveyor doesn't come out, we won't have a problem. Go ahead and put that there. Is that going to be too long? Was that one, two, three, four? Yeah, we'll go with the we'll go with the eight long, just because. And then for the leg, let's actually get this looking looking good. So we're going to go start going up. I probably, you know what? Let's try to avoid as much conveyor as we can. We'll put the four in there. Uh, we'll get rid of this. And we'll put another block there. And then we'll put the conveyor. So in that way, it's the conveyor that will touch this and not the block. And then we can start going out with the legs. So the legs are just going to be sort of like an archway. I don't want them too long because the longer they are, the less movement they have. And I lost my hotkeys again. And so it's just going to be basically like this. We're going to start going up. Like so. Try to get some, some sort of archway going. And I think I'll probably go up a little bit more and I'll start going to the long slopes. And then I'll go to the, the blocks and then back down. That doesn't go there. Like that, and then do one more like that, and then I'll start going to the long ones, which are right here. Uh, yeah, I think we're done with the rotating plates for one one day. Actually, we're done for hover pads for one day, I think. Now this one is going to go like so. An eight legged monstrosity. Okay, uh, there, not there. See, even the blocks are scared of this thing. See, if I do something like that, and then go with the fours, we'll get a couple here. One, two, five, go six. And then I go with the seven. So, oh, not there. That's what happens when you try to build too fast. Now where is that? It's, I want to try to sort of have it lined up with that. That's about right. I'm going to go to, back to the six. Like this a couple of times. If my axis would stay on the right spot. here we'll just go straight with blocks or actually no 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 no, no. 
we won't go with the blocks yet. We'll get some more of the long slopes in. That's not a long slope. But this time we'll have it going like this. Hang on. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. I mouse wheel sometimes. And come down like this. And come on. One more. Don't worry, you will I'll only make you suffer through the one leg. The one leg of this journey. Alright, now we can go down. And let's have a look. That's a big leg. That's all the way down too, so when it goes up. I might need a couple more blocks, I think. Actually, no, this should be good, I think. Probably, let's put two more on, and then we'll put the little spiky one at the bottom. And we'll we'll call it a masterpiece. How's that? Do one of those. Get one of these. Uh, let's actually go with this one here. Uh, there. That's not B, that's V. Uh, was it five? Something like this, and that way he's got a little, little toe on the ground, I guess. Sure, let's actually do that. Do that, and then a uh, little corner one. Uh, yeah, we only need one wheel on this. It's a unispider. And like so. There we go. So that's going to be our leg. So I'm going to do this seven more times. I'm going to recreate, recopy this one. Oh, grounds in my face. Uh, it may seem complicated to copy stuff like this, but I'm just going to do what I do with the motors here and just do it one section at a time. I'll start by counting how many of these I need, and then do that on all seven, and I'll go over here and then do the next section and all that. And then, and then I think it's time for Spidey to spread his legs and go for a stroll, so I'll be I'll bring you back. And there we have all eight legs. Uh, didn't quite turn out the way I envisioned. We'll see how it looks uh, or how it works. Maybe, maybe we can bulk him up a little bit. As far as the body goes, I don't know. Maybe we'll just give it a giant mechanical spider. It is pretty big though, uh, that's for sure. I don't know how much the legs actually weigh. They are. Five tons, wow. But that's okay, we got more than enough hover pads here. Alright, so now the next thing on the agenda is to set some stops. And that's just to uh, prevent these things from going further than they actually need to, and we don't need build vision on right now. Now, I was saying the front ones here, they're only going to be limited to going back this far. So I'm going to use conveyors for this. Actually, I'm going to use blocks up until I use, need the, the stop point. So I will just come off the top, uh, go off the bottom switchboard here, just like so. I'll throw one more there. I guess it's really bad. I gotta keep it, keep count of this. One, two, three, four, five. All right, five. So we'll just line up with this hover pad here. We will put a block there, and we'll go ahead and we'll grab an elbow connector. Or even a T would work just as well. Oh, where are the conveyors? There they are. No, we'll put that there so we don't need suspension anymore. And it's just basically going to be not there. There. So in that way, there's it won't bind. Just because it's got the red, I can't place it here. It should technically not actually connect there. And then for the front, excuse me, my arm is itchy. I had a... A bit of a gash at work the other day, and it's starting to get a little itchy now, which is good. And then for the other side, we just go like so. Um, I don't know how far I want to go out. I might actually just get a stop right here. So then I will put an elbow here. And we'll do that. Go ahead and put this like so. That way, so when this pull, pulls back, it touches that corner there. And then for this one here, I'm probably going to have both stops right here. 
like for this middle one and that should go with that so let me get this all set up and then we'll uh, take her for a stroll okay there we go stops are all in place so theoretically we should have a walking spider now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up the terminal of lag and I'm gonna start unlocking everything give it a second wait for it wait for it No, I didn't crash. There we go. Alright. Oh, that's some lag. And then you got a lot of active blocks on this one. Come on. Update. There we go. So now we go ahead and unlock all of these. I can already see stuff moving. So let me squint at the screen so I can see what I'm doing. I don't have my contacts. Oh, I saw a leg drop. I like that. There's another leg. Alright. It's alive. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Game doesn't like it. And uh, some issues with some of the active blocks. I was having uh, some old physics issues. I wonder why. It's not the game. I can tell you that. It's me. It's always me. Alright. Oh, that's still off. Let's go through. I missed one there. All right. Let's take it for a test. See what's going on out there. That's ah, just freaky out as it is. Okay, oh, I forgot to put the batteries on this thing. Oh, that means I need batteries again. And batteries, please. Uh, I'm lost. Oh, there they are. Okay. One, two, three. Doesn't really matter where they go. And place that there. Uh, everything should be on hover mode still. Yes. Alright. Connect those. Connect that. And turn that back on. Oh. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to connect that. Haha. <laughs> oh, it just had a range. That's fine. We'll catch it. We'll catch it. There we go. Now let's see what it's doing. We have a bit of an issue. I have a cross wire in here somewhere. Let me find this. Well, it doesn't seem to be a cross wiring issue, but since I have this thing saved, I think what might happen is maybe the legs get kind of stuck on the ground a little bit. So let's uh, let's bite the game, shall we? It's a little heavier than I thought. <laughs> Well, let's see what happens. See if it'll stand up at least. Doesn't look like it. Did everything go off a of hover mode or something? Or is it just too much? Oh. That might have something to do with it. I forgot to put that block in there. Let me fix that. All fixed. So this time we're going to try it a little differently. Before I actually unlock everything, I'm actually going to drop it down. See, that's where I want it to be standing. So now we go over here. 
move it to our switchboard, our terminal, which thankfully is in a safe place. And we just open it, like so. We wait for the, the intense lag. And we'll see if it actually breaks the game or not. Alright, now we get to rotating plates. There they are. Let's go through here and watch a spider get launched into space. Really be nice if you could group everything. Oh, there it goes. It's actually really close to me too. Oh, I broke it. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Let's see if uh, the new Unity can figure out what it's supposed to do. I'm thinking this is a bit much. Too many rotating plates. Maybe I can uh, do some snooping through the resource files, see if we can find any configs on these. Huh. Well, that didn't work out too well. It was better just to drop her straight down to the ground. That is a complete crash. So I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? This time I uh, try to unlock it and then drop it. Uh, excuse me, what's going on here? Uh, it was weird from up there. I couldn't see that block. I could actually see through it. This is the ah, it's the lighting. Never mind. Okay, so what are we doing here? What, how are we going to do this? Besides don't, because Unity just can't handle it. Uh, let's just unlock everything again. I might have to rethink this. That actually loaded really quick. Maybe that's what it was. I had the game running for so long. Need to do a memory dump. Doesn't help much at all. OBS has a bit of an impact. And there goes that twitchy leg again. I don't know what is causing that. We might actually have a quick gander. It's almost like a hover pad is turned on. But it shouldn't be because nothing's got power right now. Alright. It's these two this time. Oh, never mind. Got three of them going. Just begging to run. Look at that. Wants to go. Alright, now are you actually going to stand up this time? Are you actually going to do something? No, because I didn't actually <laughs> put the batteries on again. Alright, let's do this again. Uh, this time I remember they're actually down at the bottom. Alright, and switchboard, please. Thank you. Let me go connect you. No. I actually have to connect that one over there first. It's not even standing up. Kind of disappointing. Hmm. I can't really put hinges in anywhere. Well, let's get it going anyways and see what it does. See if it'll do something. Okay, and then can I grab you? Thank you. I'll stick that over there. I grabbed a battery. A 
Why are you not connecting now? Huh, really? Okay, well that's gonna have to be redesigned. I'm gonna actually do it right on the fly here. Let's turn that off. We'll stick one of these in here. Like so. I don't care about the color right now. And we'll get rid of that. Uh, and that. Didn't actually need that. That's fine. And then we can put our switchboard back here. Connect you over there. And since you're going back this way anyway, so we'll give you a little bit of a push if we can. Yes, we can. And that one. Okay. Now what's going on? Just hitting that dead zone. All right, what are we doing here? We're not doing anything. Really should be some articulation of the joints. Or, something I can try is putting, putting wheels so the legs actually have something to go left and right maybe. Let me think about this. One thing that might help is me actually hooking up power to this thing. Uh, let's get that out of here. Let's go grab uh, this one. And see if that does anything now. No, it's not doing anything. Doesn't seem to have the power, so maybe I'll I'll load it up and I'll put some sideways wheels on bearings at the bottom and see what happens. Okay, let's try this. So as you can see, I just put some wheels on uh, rotating plates here, and that's only so when the legs are pushing down, because I don't actually have any articulation here, uh, they want to go inwards, even if they're going to be out here and they want to move in a little bit. So what I think is going on is it's causing drag. So this should hopefully work. Uh, considering the fact it's already crashed the game once, we'll see, it took me a while to get out of that crash. Completely held me up. And yes, I have done another save. I'm currently on save number seven on this build. Not that I need to go back that far. It's just I always like to have a backup or two. Just in case. And we're almost there. At least, it, at least there's not 400 rotating plates like there is hover pads. And almost done, just a few more. I did add eight more, I forgot about that. And the best thing is I don't have to worry about it rolling away because uh, the, the way the legs are, it's actually gonna sit right on the ground when it's not being powered. All right, let's just give this a college tryout. Let's see what happens. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Ooh, Spidey's got some bounce. And of course, I forgot to hook all this up again. Feeling a little more confident about this one. Alright, batteries again. Again, again, again. Okay, uh, one, two, three. And I gotta change this over, so give me a moment. Okay, we are ready. Let's start that up, start that up. See if we get any kind of response out of this thing. I actually thought this would have been enough. Maybe it's just too much for the game to, to handle.
to actually move it. It's not. Hmm. Should be working. I'm wondering if it's just if it's because I got so many grids on top of grids. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about this one, so we're gonna have to make this a three-parter. But uh, we got something. It looks like a spider. It doesn't walk, but definitely doing something. Just not what I want it to do. But uh, yeah, like I said, we'll fig get this all straightened out for the next one. Uh, anyways, I uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.